Hello everybody! Today we are finally doing just a single solo Minecraft adventure. Um, reason why? I feel like it. <laughs> um, very simple. We had a server with friends and we were playing on and everything and we beat the Ender Dragon and everything and I just realized it has been literal, like, almost a decade since I've done this myself. So I feel like it. We're going to be playing on hard mode because I feel like that's more exciting. Uh, I am going to... Is my FOV fucked? Hold up. Uh, now 100 is fine. So we're going to be playing on... Uh, with, with bonus chest on. Very simple reason. Uh, because I don't feel like getting wooden tools. Like, it's just boring, right? It's like such a minor advantage at the start that it's like, eh, whatever. Like, I just don't feel like, you know, having to go fucking get my, um, wood just to make tools, just to then make stone tools immediately after. This way I can just kind of use up these wood tools, we can get started earlier, and we can get more stuff done, because I feel like this early game stuff, you all know how it works, it's just kind of a boring, like, standard thing, you know? Everyone has seen Minecraft played many, many times, um... You know, so like, it's, you, you know what it is. You know what Minecraft is about. We've got some piggies, some chickens. Very, um, interesting, like, open area. This is just a default world type, by the way. I'm just kind of, I just kind of want to play with, like, the new, you know, the warden update and, um, holy moly, it's a big ravine thing. Uh, with the warden update and things like, um, uh, cave update. Like, I feel like I haven't really showcased that on this channel at all. I'll take four emeralds. And this, this world, something I haven't really ever done in Minecraft myself, uh, something I've only really done on servers, is make, like, my own farms and everything. Like, I always just do, like, the, the basic easy sugar... Oh, I want that. Can I break this with a wooden pickaxe? Yes, we can. Okay. Something I've always just kind of done is, like, make the basic, like, sugar cane farm. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> um, I'm gonna take this bed... Village is a really good starting point, actually. Um, <laughs> but, like, no, I don't want a villager to sleep in that house. Jesus. What a mess of a village. Holy shit. No, but, um, I, I haven't really ever... Well, I have, but, like, I have made, like, very simple farms. What I want to do this playthrough specifically, I want to do, like, you know, big farms. I want to do big mob farms. I want to do stuff that I normally wouldn't really know how to do. I want to do an item sorting system that's better. I want to make this like a long-term fun adventure because i just realized you know i haven't really done that much in minecraft i haven't really experimented like on my own at least experimented with that i've always had like other oh my god that whole house is burning down i've always had like you know friends there to play with me while i do those things but like you know on my own it's been kind of a thing i've well not ignored but done very minimal like minimally i've barely even oh a wolf huh cool yeah, it's like a thing I've barely even done in Minecraft, right? So, that's why, I, you know, I kind of, I, I just want to. Um, so, that's what we're going to try to do. I also, you know, I, I don't think I've made a cut yet in this episode so far. Maybe like a small little cut at the beginning. Um, but I want to, you know, keep going with my more new, like, uh, faster paced editing style. Because I think that's just more fun to watch. And at the end of the day, I'm not trying to give people something that is boring and lame to watch. I want to give them something that they enjoy. Hey, and I'm going. Um, and, at, like, if I'm not going to enjoy my own content, I don't expect people to enjoy my content either, you know? So, I'm just going to try to make it fast, make it fun. Uh, we're going to cut through, like, a lot of the boring shit. We're not playing on hardcore mode. I feel like I want to have a lot of fun with this world in the long term. And, you know, dying is part of any Minecraft adventure if you're not taking it super seriously. And I just kind of want to have a more casual, like, fun experience. So, that's the reason why I'm not doing hardcore. Um, maybe in the future, though, if we finish this world, like, we... Well, finish. If we just... If I'm kind of bored of this world, maybe in a few years I'll do a hardcore adventure. Um, which way do we want to go? Because, honestly, I want to kind of head out to, like, set up a house and... Uh, possibly. Um... Let's see, we got some sticks here from the tree we cut chopped down earlier. We got some basic supplies. I'll keep in mind that there's a village near spawn. I mean, honestly, we could build in... What is that? Oh, that's a, that's a spruce village, okay. We... This is obviously not a horrible place. Uh, ooh, that's a cool-looking mountain, too. 
The thing is, I you know, because I want to do farms and stuff, there's this thing called spawn chunks, um, which, the way I understand it, again, I'm not super experienced with, like, uh, this kind of thing. The way I understand how it works is you have these... Um, this is Java edition, by the way. I should have mentioned that before because the boat recipe is different. <laughs> the way that works very basically is just uh, in the spawn chunks, everything like a farm, it's like the tick speed is always like ticking. It's always active. Also, let me get some kelp um, so we can start growing that as like a farm or anything uh, in the future because it's always a good thing to have nearby. Uh, and just get like two little kelp stalks here. There we go. So yeah, um... Uh, pretty much the spawn chunks over there. That's where farms are like always going to be active. That means if I'm going to explore, let's say, uh, over there and it's not in the spawn chunks anymore, but my house is still there, right, back in spawn chunks, the farms are going to stay active and I'm going to be passively gathering resources. That's something I was thinking about of like, do I, because you, you can like mod that in, but I'm trying to do this just vanilla, right? Basic old vanilla playthrough, um... Well, it didn't actually matter that I fucking used the spawn chest, by the way, because we got so many items here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just thinking about, it, like, do we want to have our main base kind of, you know, over there? Uh, at zero, zero, right? Because if you can see, we're now at uh, 255.84, so we're very close to spawn still. Do we want to have it in spawn chunks? Um, maybe this episode will be mostly exploring anyways, because I feel like that's what I'm going to be ending up doing right now. Um, so maybe I'll leave the question to you guys. I'll edit this one, you know, for this week, actually. Maybe I'll do my fucking first, first time since I've started the channel that I'm actually catching up on one episode, like, instantly. Um, but yeah, let me know. Do you guys want to see it in spawn chunks? Do you think the location is interesting enough? We have a village literally next to us twice, right? So for villagers, that's honestly a really, really good spawn. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of thinking about it. The more I think about it, the more I'm, like, liking that as an idea. The more I'm like, yeah, you know what? That is a good idea, at least. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not torn up between, you know, I already said I wanted to let you guys decide, but now it's also, like, damn, I, that's the same house. Or same style of house. Uh, but it's also, like, yeah, that's just a good idea to do. If I want to go with this more, you know, uh, I guess farmy, that's the same sort of house again. If I want to go with this more farm based like direction and everything and we have a village there, you know, trading system would be really easy to implement. I kind of don't dislike the area either. I like the little stone beach. That's something I haven't really built on much. Uh, there's also a cool, interesting taiga forest here. Now I see there's wolves. Yeah. Look, taiga. Hmm. Middle of the day still, okay. I was checking just to see if we uh, needed to sleep soon. I think what I'll do, I'll uh, cut out here real quick. I'll just go explore around a little bit. If I think or see something interesting, I'll uh, I'll just, you know, cut back in. Save you guys some time with me just walking around doing nothing. Uh, oh, and one thing is, cheats are off. Now, there might be a way in Minecraft for cheats to come back on once you've turned them off i don't know if that's the case signs can be in these chests what i didn't know that huh okay i did not know you could have signs in those chests that's interesting i genuinely have no fucking clue about that wow okay S sure <laughs> okay um i didn't know that but uh cheats are off in this world i don't know if you can turn them on once you've made the world i don't think so i mean there, there's probably mods or something uh, probably some kind of way, but I'm just trying to have a fun like little honest adventure. So oh, a fern nice uh, And large ferns good for building later, I guess because I, I love building in Minecraft. It's one of my most fun like parts of this game um, Yeah, I mean, oh look at a little glitch that water block hmm. All right, um, yeah, you know what I Think I've made my decision. I want to build in the spawn chunks uh, sun is going down. I need to go quick. Um, see, very simply, I if I, I want to go with this direction, it's a really easy spot to just uh, maybe not. So, this is not going to be my final base because you know it's not the again not the super most ultra interesting place ever. 
Um, but you know, it's it's at least for farms, it would be a good place to have. And you know, with Nether travel and like pathways and stuff, you can have you can get places so quickly in Minecraft nowadays. That honestly, I'm like I'm like fine trying this out. Um, which part though? This part. Um, honestly, this kind of in between these little two cliffs here. He's looking out over the ocean, having like a dock here. What is that? That's a rock cliff? What's under here? Is just this kind of... Okay. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna do that. So Sorry for every... Oh, and there's a little insider. That could be cool to work with, too. Is there a fucking underwater cave under here? Hold on, let me quickly check that before I sleep. Ooh, sort of. I need to go back up for air. Oh, it's a ravine. I see. Okay. You know what? Sure. Let's do that. We'll make our house here. That's the first cobblestone I picked up. <laughs> uh, I need to put down my bed real quick. Let's just... You know, this is going to be where we start our adventure. Um, I'm going to think about what kind of house I want to make. Because I have not thought about anything like building materials or anything yet. I just used the new mud blocks and everything from this update uh, in another world, the one with friends I mentioned before. So I don't really have a super specific want or something with building blocks. Uh, I think I'll just make a little shack and then we'll like I'm, I'm like this is maybe going to be the final house location. I'll make a little shack like just here next to it, and I'll come back to you once I'm done, or I'll speed it up or something. But I will see you in a bit. I want to kind of do with this series as well it's just you know it's like minecraft is one of those very youtube -y things right uh, a lot of player like channels have either started by playing minecraft or well like <laughs> damn near every gameplay channel has done a minecraft series i'm gonna you know do something other like very youtube -y in this series and that is a question of the day i think those are always super fun uh, they also boost interaction on the videos, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but no, I, I think those are... Oh, look, a chicken egg. Uh, those are super fun to do, in my opinion, just because of, like, it's... You could just think of, like, a super random topic. And I just kind of want to get some, like, opinions on stuff. So... I'll be thinking of... I, I have not thought of a topic yet. I <laughs> uh, should have probably done that first before I started talking again, huh? You know what? I know one. What is your favorite mob in Minecraft? Um, I would I would like you to answer before I say it. So just think of it real quick. Maybe pause the video if you need to. Um, what is your favorite mob? I think that's a very fun little question. I have my answer locked and loaded because it is uh, an answer I will always stay true to, no matter what they introduce. Though I will say they have a very good competitor as of the last update, but it's not that uh, that um, mob. So yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, what is your favorite mob in all of Minecraft? Or maybe even if you have like a mob that you really like from Minecraft Dungeons or something. I haven't played that yet. I, I want to at some point. I just haven't yet. <laughs> not really a reason to. I just I just haven't. I just happen to have not. Is that a baby villager? Aww. But yeah, um, what is your my favorite mob? My favorite mob is the axolotl. Um, I love axolotls in real life. They are so cute little bald babies <laughs> very bald little little friends um and i I, don't know, I just like lizard like um creatures most of the time like they're just very cute and axolotls are definitely among those and yeah i don't know i just i think their behavior is very fun they will like attack water creatures if you um if you breed them and stuff and i i just i think they're adorable in minecraft specifically like something like a cow in Minecraft, it looks like a cow in Minecraft, right? It's just very basic. The axolotl almost looks like it's like a Minecraft original creature because of the way the ice look and stuff. It's just so goddamn cute. Like, it, it's like that's genuinely I think that's the cutest mob in all of Minecraft, and that's why I like them. 
Because, I mean, I don't know, I just don't really care about, like, the fighting against the mob. Like, I don't think that's, like, the reason why I would like a Minecraft mob much. Um, so, yeah, axolotls are mine. What is yours? I, I'm very curious to see what people love in Minecraft. I know a lot of people voted for the Alloy, the new mob in the new update. I personally wanted the uh, Copper Golem. I think, I think those were very fun. Um, but... I, I know a lot, a lot of people really wanted the alloy in there, so I'm, I'm curious to see what people think. Fucking... Future me obviously cut this out if it's not relevant, but if that... Yeah, if it's not relevant, cut it out, but like... If that plane was fucking noticeable on like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ta-da! There we go, guys. We have our super duper basic shack, which I'm definitely taking down as soon as we get something better. Because <laughs> this looks horrendous. But, you know, it, I needed a quick, um, just a quick little house to just have something set up. So from here, we can do our adventuring. Um... I'm kind of debating between should we go caving first or doing something else. How much cobblestone did I have? Oh, none, because I placed it there. Okay. Well, let me go mine some cobble. And then there was some iron around here, I think. Let me get this copper, too. It's actually kind of funny. I, uh, I, I kind of didn't think about this before, but this is the first time I think I've mined like surface ores this much. Usually, I kind of tend to just let them just lay there and just like, oh, I'll go caving for those. Uh, I don't want to like disrupt the terrain, but like, thing is, for caving, I, I hate not being able to see right, and even with the fact that my monitor is like, pretty, pretty decent, um. It's still like if there's a lot of light coming from outside, it can be hard to see in like dark games, which is also why I don't like dark sections in games. Because <laughs> I just like being able to see my video games, you know? But um, the pro the daylight mining thing, like this fixes that entire issue. Because look at how much coal we already have. Like 29 coal before we even enter a cave, right? Well, I mean, technically the ravine we, we entered briefly, but you know what I mean, right? It's, it's that much cool before we even uh, enter, a, like, truly go, you know, strip mining or doing caving or whatever. So, pretty nice, I will have to say. Uh, it's, it's really good to just have that already, you know, sorted out. If we need torches, no biggie. We have them pretty much at our disposal whenever we want. Super nice. <laughs> The thing is, like, copper, it's not super useful for much. It's not like, oh, yes, we got copper. Now we can do all of these cool things. It's more just like, I mean, why not, right? We, we're not doing anything with it right now. <laughs> Might as well. I'm just kind of looking for some iron around here right now. Just to, oh, that's a wooden pickaxe. <laughs> just to kind of get some, uh, some iron started, get a bucket. Maybe get some basic supplies ready so we can uh, enter the nether, get some farms started with observers, right? Because again, that's what I'm kind of like going for. A really good friend of mine actually showed me a world and he was like, I'm going to start this new survival world. And I was like, oh, cool. Genuinely, like an hour later, I already looked at, like he showed me and he had like, I don't know how many farms just set up already. I was like, dude, did you go to the nether for just that to set up your fucking sugarcane farm? <laughs> And he was like, yeah, I always do that. And I just thought that was really funny. <laughs> just like, and I was not, then I was thinking about it, It's like, yeah, if you're going to do a long-term survival world, right? And you're in the spawn chunks anyways, why not do that? That's just optimal. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be optimal this time. Um, I don't know. I just feel like doing that. 
Also, I am burning through this bread. I need to get some of that hay. Uh, yeah. I have a bunch of hay bills from the village, though, so... I should also get a sugar cane farm started, probably. Is there an automatic design for that? Or, like, an easy farm sugar cane design? I should look that up. What you know about rolling down in the deep if the brain goes numb? You can call it mental face when these people talk too much, but they shit in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> uh, I think that's all the iron on the surface. Hmm. Should we? Oh, never mind. I missed an obvious ass piece of iron. <laughs> Oh, two, nice. Cool. Uh, that's eight, so we can put that in the furnace. Is it still burning? Oh, it's not very far. Let me get some more cobble. Ooh. I smell something delicious outside. I don't know who's cooking something, but that smells good. I mean, I'm cooking something. It's in the furnace, but you know... You know. <laughs> No, but like, dude, I don't know what someone's cooking, but that smells really good. That just, like, that, I just, that, that random smell just came into my nose holes, and I, I was like, yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> Come into my nose holes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You know what I'll do? I'll, um, I'll cut here. I'll go look up a good f design for, like, a, a sugar... No, not sugarcane. A um, a wheat farm, so we can actually get like food started easily. And I'll be right back. Hello, hello. Cut back in, future to me. I love you. Mwah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I watched the tutorial by fuck. I forgot the name. It was let me see. Prowl eight four one three. Very nice tutorial, actually. Very well edited and everything. Very nice. Um, basic like just farm tutorial, I guess. Uh, and I kind of think I get how I want to do it now. Um, so thank you very much, Mr. Prowl, for the tutorial. Very useful. Our copper and our iron has also, um, you know, gotten done cooking in the meantime. Okay. <laughs> cooking iron sounds very weird, but... Actually, I'm not gonna... I was gonna make a shovel. I'm not gonna make a shovel. I'm gonna make a pickaxe, for because we need those anyways. I'm gonna make a bucket, because we need those anyways. And I'm gonna leave the rest of the iron for future use. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make two shovels because we're gonna make our wheat farm. Now this is eventually gonna work based on villagers. Um, how it works, very easy explanation I can quickly give for this, is it's going to work by having a villager full of seeds in his inventory and he's going to pick up exclusively the seeds that he needs to uh, pick up for his like farm work. Uh, and he can't pick up wheat because his inventory, which is like eight slots of items, eight stacks of items, will be full with seeds, right? So what he's going to do, he's going to pick up the stuff. We have a collection system below it, which we're going to add later. And then he will, um, pretty much he will collect it for us. Or he will like uh, break everything and repair everything for us so we don't have to lift a finger for that whole farm. And we will pretty much just be eating for free. And the villager can just sit in the farm and live <laughs> his life right in there. Now, to start this, we will need a shit ton of minecart tracks. There's also a version with bees that uh, is in later parts of the video. I haven't watched that part yet. Uh, we might add that, but I don't think the structure of the farm is going to change at all. There's also a version with, like, LAs. Um, but I don't think I'll be using that one, because I think the LAs... I don't have any super clothes nearby. I, th I mean, there might be one in, like, that area. Uh, but I didn't see a... Um, an illager tower earlier and even if you see an illager tower you know not guaranteed to have an LA in there so I'm going to wait with that now our farm is going to be 18 by 18 blocks we already have almost a stack of dirt which is actually pretty quick uh, and we're going to start by just making this farm uh, just a basic like hand farm like just do it by hand then eventually we're going to like uproot it uh, break everything make sure we can place our minecart tracks under there and stuff and we're going to make it automatic. So you'll see it slowly transformed from our basic food farm that we'll have to, you know, hand, hand, like pick ourselves into a fully automatic beauty of a farm that we don't have to lift a single finger for and have villagers do all the work for us. Now, is that slavery? Yes. 
Am I against slavery? Also, yes. In Minecraft, though, I don't care. <laughs> no, um... 18 times 18. What is 18 times 18? But well, you have 10 times 10. Plus 100 is 322 blocks of dirt. Now, that's a lot. So I'm going to just be digging that up. I think that should be about two shovels of durability-ish. We'll see how much we have by the end of it. And I will come back to you on that. I also, you know, it's, you, you can obviously make a very boring, uh, just open area with a farm in it. Now that would, one, not be very safe for the villager, because uh, if that villager is in that farm and, and like a zombie somehow gets in from outside of it, or you have it not fully lit up properly, or something happens, that is a baby crying in the background, what the fuck, something happens with it, your villager is going to die. <laughs> And we don't want that happening because that's a lot of extra repair work and I would not like our villager dying because I'm going to get attached to the villager, I'm going to give him a name and, you know, it's going to suck. So we're going to make him a nice house, a nice little farm home uh, that he can do his work in peacefully. He's going to have a nice place of residence. We're going to take good care of him, right? So that's going to be a, a, like a building project for the future. For now, um, I'm going to mine up this dirt, cut away. And by the end of this episode, I'm going to do a quick little building montage and we'll have our basic farm set up. Uh, I'm actually going to check how much I already have and then I'll come back to you in a second. expect that. Just a fucking blog growing instantly. Oh my god! I did- Rest in peace. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, I- That was just assassination. Holy fucking shit. I just killed a chicken for no good reason. <clears throat> On accident too, but you know. Still no good reason. Still manslaughter. Kinda sucks. Or chick slaughter? Chick fil A? I don't know. Now, the way this works is we have stairs on the four little blocks that I, like, left open earlier. This way, water doesn't get out as easily, and the villager can't get stuck in there. Um, because this is not a block you can walk in, technically, right? So it's really easy to just have, like, a... Um, a vill this is, like, a really, f like, foolproof thing for the villager to not be able to, like, get stuck in or anything. This covers like uh, I think this much away to every direction so we just have this is all gonna get like wetted farmland which means a villager if he takes the seeds from it will not be able to like turn it into regular dirt um, you can watch the tutorial I'll, I'll I hope I won't forget I'm gonna like make a doc for myself so I don't forget to link this in the description pretty much um, like the 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 guy that I just mentioned uh, was it prowl was it 1980? 18? I, I'm bad with like remembering. But link in description. I'm just gonna say that. I'll make it easier for myself. Link in description. He he made a very good tutorial. I want you to go check it out. Um, very lovely job making it. Thank you very much. I now understand how these farms like work better. Uh, very useful. Without people like him, it would be that was dumb. Without people like him, would be you know very. 
not welcoming to like newcomers making farms and stuff and like thinking of how this stuff's gonna work even like explain the comparator uh, system that you have in there so that's very nice and yeah it's a, a very very lovely tutorial Now I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that part later. Uh, we only have this many seeds right now anyway, so it's not really uh, like a point to, to doing that yet. But basically, this is gonna be where it's going to be. Uh, next episode, I think what I want to do is I might make some preparations like in between episodes, just like chop some wood, right? So do some very basic farming. I'll probably like keep my recording software next to me, and just in case something interesting happens. But like honestly, I think you'll just see me start off the next episode with like a bit of spruce wood from the forest over there, and then maybe having set up some trees there. Um, because as you can see, slash game mode, uh, creative. There is no there is no game mode creative or slash game mode one. I can't cheat, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna have fun. Because, I mean, that, that's, like, the obvious, like, YouTuber joke. Guys, I did some in-between... <laughs> Wait. Guys, I did some... Hold on. Guys, I did some in-between digging in-between episodes, and then you just see them turn around. Huge stack of diamond blood. Like, nah, I'm not gonna go mining. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some wood, maybe some stone, and then probably just get the seed farm a bit more, like, ready. Uh, but outside of that, I'm not gonna do any progress until next episode. And not, no, no building either, because I want to save that for when I'm, like, you know, recording. I think that's the fun part of, like, watching the series like this. Some basic resource gathering is probably all I, all I like, do. And I mean basic, like, just wood, wood, stone. <laughs> that's it. Because, <laughs> like, it's obviously, like, super tempting to do shit offline, which is, like, you know, not very fun, in my opinion. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode of Minecraft. Leave me some suggestions and let me know what is your favorite mob in Minecraft. Uh, Axolotl gang for life. Represent. <laughs> and, uh, I hope to see you again next episode. Bye.